Uh, hey guys, a uh, long time no see, uh, I guess. So uh, in this video I will show you how to implement pretty easy but uh, interesting mechanic and uh, basically it's uh, like throwing uh, objects uh, like um, as you can see in uh, for example uh, rescue rangers uh, game so basically I can pick up the crate and uh, I can throw it as you can see and I can't uh, like okay it's not working correctly I guess <laughs> already Oh yeah, now now it's working fine. So basically, I can pick up crates and uh, throw them uh, by pressing the same button uh, as uh, it was in Rescue Rangers. So um, I made it on button F. So when I uh, near the crate, uh, I can click F, and uh, the character will uh, pick it up, and uh, it will be registered so that uh, it's picked. And uh, when I click F once more, it will uh, throw the crate so that's uh, basically it and um, I will show you how I did it uh, because I'm short on, on time but you know want to continue uh, to do something with um, game development so I decided to make this uh, uh, quick video you know for starters okay and uh, by the way uh, for the previous video now I plan to start a new project but um, I will uh, come back to it later because uh, you know I started to do it and now it seems like it's something big, uh, like too big uh, for my time right now. You know I I will not have enough time to finish it and uh, basically maintain it. So I'm thinking to do something easier for now and um, you know maybe some small tutorials like that um, at least. Or maybe some small games uh, as you know previous one so let's dive in into uh, the code basically as if you can call it like that so uh, basically on the scene we have uh, the crates as you can see it's great uh, and uh, it's just a platform object uh, we have a player and uh, that's a platform uh, you know, player object. Uh, we have tile, you know, just a floor uh, made of crates for some reason. And I have this special object, which is basically um, the indication that checks if uh, the player is, uh, you know, contact in contact with the crate because. It's important that um, it should be in front of the player. So I will show how to how I made it in, in front of the player a bit later. So that's uh, it for the scene and uh, let's check um, the events. Okay, so uh, as you can see it's kind of simple and uh, straightforward and uh, it should not be you know hard to uh, recreate it. So basically what we have here, uh, we have uh, F key is pressed uh, event and uh, we have some you know conditions uh, with it so if the F key is pressed and the special is in the collision with the crates and the variable ammo of player equals zero so player has a variable which is can be uh, as you can see zero two one or three uh, and if this variable is zero then we will delete delete the crate so when I picked it, uh, it will delete it and it will uh, change the variable to 1. Yeah, it will mean that uh, now the player have uh, the crate, you know, so the variable is 1. So the program will check if the player has, has the ammo, basically. And uh, with that we change number of the animation uh, to 1, which means that uh, if you go uh, to the player and check. Animation 1 is uh, the animation when the player has crate. Uh, you know it's possible to implement it in different way, for example place a crate, like actual crate uh, object above, but uh, you know I decided to make it simpler and just make um, another animation state. Okay, so uh, then uh, as you can see we have um, the player ammo set to 1, 
so let's uh, check uh, this one next because um, you know it depends on player ammo uh, that equals one so and then if the f key is released and the variable uh, of the player is set to one as you can see uh, it was zero here when it when we pressed and uh, now it should be uh, one when it's released as you may notice we have two um, sets of uh, variables and uh, they have different ammo uh, and I'm not sure if this implementation is the best one or something like you know I just um, did it uh, you know how it was going going out I don't know how to how to you know um, tell this in English I don't really know um, but uh, the point is that you know I just trying to implement it and not was not thinking much about uh, the ways and uh, like what's uh, good and what's not. But I'm not sure this this one is an ideal solution and I think um, it's possible to make something better. But no, I'm just too short of on time right now to too much work have. Okay, so when the F key is released and um, the variable of uh, emma equals one which means that uh, you know this moment happens when i'm near the crate and i'm clicking on an f and when i'm releasing it uh, it writes uh, one into variable because it made uh, because you know if i'm standing close to another crate if i click this uh, previously it was you know taking the next one right away so uh, like when I pick one and move to the next one when I release it it was uh, you know dropping this one and and picking up the next one automatically but now uh, just uh, I released F but you know it's still uh, with this crate so that's fixing this issue yeah it's not it's not that simple uh, as you might thought at, at the first time no uh, okay so uh, now, when we release in the key, we need to change the variable to uh, set to two, because uh, you know this one will be responsive for uh, responsible for uh, throwing the crate basically, and uh, and we creating the object at the position one one. But you can actually delete this. Uh, I was just making some tests and uh, forgot to remove it. Uh, like it's uh, when it's on, you might see the crate that appears at the top. Uh, I was thinking to make like you know indication of the ammo that it's picked, but why? Because <laughs> the animation already have it basically, so not over complicate things if you don't need it to, to do it. Uh, okay, so uh, when uh, we're in the state where the key is released and uh, we have ammo uh, the variable set to 2 so uh, next one will be to uh, press the key to throw um, the crate so here we have uh, key is pressed same as here but uh, the variable is 2 which means uh, that we have ammo uh, like crate and the key is released already so uh, in order to throw the crate we need to change the number of the animation. It means that uh, we will need to bring back the default state of the player, like without crates. Or you can make, you know, just um, some some kind of throwing animation instead, or something like that, and uh, you know, update the animation on uh, on the key release, or something like that. Uh, okay, so uh, we set ammo to three because we need to uh, release the key and uh, update the variable and we're creating the object basically we're creating the object at the position uh, x uh, plus 40 and position y plus uh, 28 uh, i'm not sure now why i did it like this but uh, basically you can play around with it and uh, i guess i made it so uh, it appears here like not on the top on the bottom or in the middle of the sprites but when i click it you know we're throwing it um, kind of in front of him so uh, basically with those coordinates you can uh, fine-tune where uh, your crate will fly 
Uh, and the last one is basically add uh, force uh, to create its um, object because if you don't uh, do it, it will just you know appear in the in the west air and uh, and will be there forever. So we add in force to create permanent force, which means it will you know fly uh, forever and uh, at angle zero and uh, with the length of 500 pixels. So basically those pixels are just uh, the speed of the crate. Uh, okay, so and the last, last step is uh, like when the key is released and uh, the crate is thrown and we have the variable of Emma um, like with number three. Uh, then we can just you know change the variable back to zero and uh, it will allow us to like uh, kind of uh, return to the you know initial state so this one is just you know initial state and uh, also I have this uh, event here with some actions and so basically it's um, just changing position of the special and uh, basically those coordinates are like to place it in front of the player uh, it, it may it like that because you know if you will uh, stand and the crate will be behind you and you will press F then your character will still pick it up but uh, we don't need to do that we only need to do it if uh, the crate is in front of the player so that's why we need this special basically uh, because this special will check like if we have collision and it's like close uh, to the player sprite itself and uh, basically we can hide this special because we don't need to see it um, like we can see it here but uh, in the actual in the actual game we don't need to see it so as you can see we can't see this special we only can you know just picking up those crates and throwing them in front of us Okay, so basically that's all and um, you know, let me know if you want uh, me to implement some uh, interesting mechanics, but uh, please don't do them too hard because you know, I'm just uh, learning this uh, tool and basically game development in general, so um, I will be glad to help you and uh, you know, it's uh, important to me because I want to dive back into game development and um, I'm constantly don't have enough time or don't have enough, uh, you know, I know power to do it uh, yeah also I was thinking maybe it will make sense to do some streaming on Twitch and uh, let me know guys if you like this idea and uh, I will set up some time maybe on the weekends like each weekend I will uh, spend an hour or two uh, in game development and showing stuff uh, learning stuff with you also I joined uh, the team of hobby uh, game developers and so uh, we're planning to participate in some game jams so maybe I will post some information about this uh, here too like you know some reviews maybe some work in progress and uh, things like that so yeah okay so thank you for watching anyway um, I was uh, really glad to be back uh, into game development and I hope that my tutorials and you know things uh, helping you too yeah Thanks. I really appreciate your, you know, I don't know how to, how to tell it. Please <laughs> tell me in the comments. Okay, thank you.